Hello everybody, it is your good friend once again Leaf back with, you know, another build video, I guess, zoo tour. Uh, we have a little bit of a zoo going on over here to start with. Uh, no name so far. I, I'm still trying to settle on it. I'm not going to name it now because, you know, it's probably bad luck. That's what I'm assuming at least because I've named all my other zoos and, you know, they haven't really turned out well. So welcome to Undisclosed Zoo Tour number one. <laughs> so essentially what I'm going for over here, I was very inspired by Estan's build. Let's actually get some more light in here. So I do want to go for a semi-hyper realistic zoo. I do want to have like a bit of a purpose for everything, I assume. And yeah, so we have this little entrance area right here. Over here would be like the implied parking lot. And yeah, there's not really much to say other than like the blueprint graveyards, but we're just going to ignore all of that right now. You might notice that from like one of my videos on the Arctic packs. So we're just going to hide that. So yeah, so here's a little entrance area. It's nothing too crazy. So here's where you would go if you're not a member. I still need to like update some signage and stuff like that, but you would essentially go over here. You would come over here we have like all the membership we have the general admission and we have like the zoo hours over here we have a little frank racer over here to like take your ticket i even did a little bit of interior work in here it's nothing crazy i mean hell look at that door over there it's not even attached but yeah i mean we have a little bit of water for frank to have when he's a little thirsty and forgive me i'm like getting all my hotkeys mixed up I put a little bit of this fence here just because, you know, maybe that one's closed for like the season. Maybe it's not full capacity or something. And yeah, here's a little idea that I had. I had this like little statue over here from the 1.5 update. And here's my favorite part at least. <laughs> it's so stupid, but I love it. I have the green lighting on this side and the red lighting on this side. And I think it has such a cool effect, like, if you're coming over here at night, and you know, you're heading out, and it's like, you know, sunset's pretty early, and you see this, this is absolutely beautiful to, like, send you on your way out. And that's one of my favorite parts of here. But yeah, so we have, like, this little garden area, it's nothing too crazy. I have these arctic bins with, like, the flowers in it, I feel like it has, like, you know, a nice little rustic theme to it. I love these uh, fences that I made, and they're actually using the Brazil nut tree sapling as, you know, posts. And I don't know, it looks really funky. I love it. And we have these little areas for, like, the gardeners to get into, so they could, like, trim the trees and whatnot. Over here would be the little members only, uh, <laughs> members only entrance. Nick always, like, rags on me about this because he's, like, how could you have an American flag with no state flag beneath it? And he's like always like, oh, it's not a real zoo in that case. <laughs> so that's a little, little quip he has with me, but I'll probably figure out a state for this to be in. It'll probably be like Massachusetts or something. I don't really know yet. But yeah, so members would enter over here. I have these little turnstiles. So you would just like scan your little zoo ID or zoo ticket over there. And we have the same thing over here. We have music playing. Which, you know, I really do want to incorporate as many base game, not even base game, but like Planet Zoo things as possible. And so I do want to like hark on the fact that music should be involved in this as much as possible. And so, yeah, here we enter the zoo. But before we do, I want to check out this little backstage area. So I have a few of these cards over here and I have this one that's, you know, maybe a little broken. And I have like some of this trash over here along with like a generator. I, I feel like it works out really well. No interior over here just yet. I don't really see a purpose for it yet, but once I do, I will add it, I promise. But yeah, if we can just look at this shot when going in here and check it out at the right light, because I'm trying to do some stuff that like S. Dan said that uh, Mike Sheet said, it's to really focus on shading. And it's really important to have like a lot of shady areas in your zoo. And so that's why I'm opting for like these big trees. This was made by ZZ. 
Uh, ZZ has been put out of a job by me, Nick, and all the other modders. And he's off to making foliage now, so you can see like one, two, three, four different like foliage items made by ZZ in this shot alone. And it's so important to have those in here because they don't even look like... They don't even look like, um... Like they're made out of pieces from in-game. They look like their own pieces. I mean, look at this over here. Like, yeah, you can tell, like, Nettle, there's a white sage in there, but from far away, it looks like a brand new piece. So, amazing work on that, ZZ. I absolutely love that from my own zoos. And we see, like, even more ZZ stuff going on over there. But yeah, we can take a little shot over here. I actually love how this turned out. I'm gonna do, like, some stupid stuff like this going forward, but... I don't know. I just like the idea of, you know, a little cart going really fast because an animal is acting up or something. But I just love, like, all the dead area and making it come alive. And that's something that, like, I've been watching a lot of SDM guys, I'm sorry. But he makes dead area come so alive. And that's what I'm trying over here. I mean, like, over here, I try and, like, have it be as realistic as possible. We have these, like, nice little zoom maps. I'll definitely update them with, uh, like, I'll try and make my own maps from this going forward. But yeah, here we have, like, this first little main plaza area. And we'll... Oh no, I took them out. <laughs> uh, I had African penguins in here, but it seems like they got taken out. But, you know, it'll be fine. We'll... Ugh, damn it. Whatever. But anyways, we have this little decrepit fountain over here that would have been like back in its heyday. It would have been nice and like flowing. But right now it seems like it's a little out of commission. So I just want to add a little bit of storytelling with that. I have this little bench area and I have a little seating area for you to watch the penguins. I really love how this exhibit came out. This is by far one of my favorite exhibits. I love how I use a little door trick over here that you would see in Bronation. I love the little like switches and plugs in here and the basically all the staff stuff i love how like the food bowls are over here the planting too i love how i put this netting over here i just love everything about this you guys you know <laughs> but yeah even like these little stairs over here so the penguins can actually go in the water and even all the moss over here that like makes it look like scummy water and yeah it, it's just such a nice little opening exhibit. I love how it turned out. But yeah, before we go into the guest services, I also have this little picnic area. So, you know, maybe if you're like on a school trip, you guys would eat over here. Yeah, it's like a nice little, little sunken area. And I also have some more eating area over here. I have a few picnic benches up here. And I have guest services. So this is probably we're just going to delete this for now because it's too loud. I can't focus. I have a few benches in here. This is where you would come to get your wheelchairs or your strollers. I know it's like, you know, why would you come like all this way to get your wheelchair? But, you know, it, for the sake of immersion, it's going to work out pretty well. And yeah, we have a little bit of flyers over here. We have a few postcards over here. We have a little bit of, you know, room back here to do something for staff or something. Maybe like a little staff room. But yeah, we also have the membership zoo hours over here. So, you know, if you're back over here getting like your wheelchair and you see this big sign, you might be more inclined to make yourself a member or something. And yeah, I love how this little like skylight came out. I really try to focus on like supports and realism in this. And, you know, I'm getting there. I'm not the best at it, I'll admit, but it certainly works. And I have even a little welcome mat, which came out pretty well. But yeah, I just love looking at this from like all different kinds of angles. I'm really, I mentioned Estan, I'm like simping for Estan right now, but I mention him so many times in this. His new zoo, Lost Creek, is such an inspiration for this. And I don't know, I just love it so much. We have a little hippo statue over here. And again, it's kind of overgrown. I feel like this zoo really wouldn't like take care of its stuff all too well. Like, it has some stuff that, you know, it's known for being kind of goopy or dank, I guess you could say. But yeah, over here, we're leading into a new little area. So I have this little orange wolf looking guy, so you can probably
probably bet what this is going to be. I do have plans for a children's zoo over here, and you know, I'm probably... Uh, I'm just ripping off ass Dan at this point. <laughs> but I had these in here before he had his in, but... They're not zebras, as you can tell. I'm just playing around with my signs. No, we have a little red wolf, red fox, actually, enclosure over here. We're actually gonna bring him out here, because I love when he, like, walks around in this exhibit. But look how beautiful this exhibit is. I mean, it's nice. It's very... It's very simple, and that's why I love it. It came out really well. I really love how, like, all the grass has turned out. It looks very natural. It looks like, you know, a fox would definitely love to you know, trot around in this little circle. I have this little backstage area over here, which I haven't really worked on too well, but he can go inside and out there. So, you know, if it like rains or something, I'm pretty sure he'll, you know, go in there. Yeah, these guys are adorable. Tosca did the remaster on this and it's so cute. I just love them. But yeah, even like the uh, Gabion wall over here, I did this all custom. And I just love how it looks from like down here. It looks so real. I love it. And even over here with these um, custom, I don't know, fencing, I guess. You have both like a children's view over here so you could see the fox pretty well from down here. And the adults can see them even better from up there. And I love like how these are coming out as well, the nice little rock walls. I even had this one fall down and kind of crack a little bit. And here's where we ended up. Uh, not sure what's in here. Probably it's going to be a bird or something, but I just love how it turned out. I really do want to, like, start focusing on the fact that I don't want any centralized theming at first. So I'll probably throw, like, I don't know, like a kookaburra in that once I, like, install that mod. But yeah, I just love how this zoo is coming out. And I'd love to know what you guys think of the zoo as well. Sorry, um... Yeah, it just looks so nice. Oh my, it looks even cooler during the rain. But yeah, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this little tour. Um, there's just so many small things I hid in here, and it's just such a fun, fun outlet for creativity. Like, I've been really cranking up mods recently, and it's just so refreshing to get back into the game like this. And even over here, I have like little staff access to this building, which, you know, doesn't really have a purpose, but... You know, might be another staff room or something. But yeah, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this. If you liked it, be sure to like, let me know what your favorite part of this is so far. Let me know what ideas you have, because I'm honestly stumped. I have no idea what to do next. I have no idea whether to go left, whether to go right. If you guys throw out some ideas, I'll definitely try and do them. But yeah, I really do hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Let's end it. Let's end it on a nice little shot over here. Alright, take care guys.